Sorry about that. Jump to heading done. If we're going to try to find the inverse, like I presented over there, guys, the, the graph and its inverse, the x and the y coordinates are swapped, right? So I'm not just making up something crazy of the equations. If you want to find the inverse algebraically, swap the x and the y variables. It's just like swapping the points graphically. The points are swapped, x and y coordinates are swapped. Algebraically, you swap the x and the y. Now we need to solve for y. And there's a lot of things going on. We're multiplying by 3, subtracted by 1, all divided by 2. First thing you want to do is get rid of the 2 in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply 2 on both sides. 2x equals 3y minus 1. Now it's just a two-step equation. So you add 1 to both sides and then divide by 3. Now, this could be a multiple choice question. So you could see the answer like this. Well, actually, that's solve for y. Now, we're trying to find y. We're trying to use the inverse notation. So we have to write this in inverse notation. So we write y inverse is equal to 2x plus 1 over 3. It could be written like this. That could be the multiple choice answer. You could divide the 3 into both of those. Or actually, you could take the 3 in front and rewrite it as a fraction. I'm just giving you guys some different representations. Once you guys agree, dividing by 3 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 third? Yes. yes? OK. Or you could distribute that. So it would be 2x thirds plus 1 third. I'm just showing you guys these three versions because who knows what, what version it is on the test. I don't even know. Like, I don't remember. Right? Could be any one of those. Don't get it wrong because you're looking for this and the answer is there. Right? That's why I want to make sure. OK? Um, oh, sorry about that. The next thing I was asking is, what is the domain in the range? So we're going to cheat here because we don't really need to find the domain of the inverse to find the range because, guys, this is a line, right? That's a line. The inverse is a line. Like, do I already know the domain or range of this line? Yeah, it's all real numbers, all real numbers. So I just say domain, all real numbers. Range, all real numbers. I'm not going to, I don't need to, now obviously, like, if I need to find the inverse, I find the inverse. 